Hi, this is Randy. So just a follow up to my last video, which is a report on the Orlando shooter. I guess I wanted to say that an observation of the media could be that you know, the, the media does want to recognize all of these dangerous, narcissistic sociopaths and psychopaths and all the killings as that result in their abuse. They don't recognize early on the, any kind of emotional abuse. They do seem to focus on when it's physical, when it becomes physical, you know, that's when it becomes news, I guess. But even when it does become physical and, you know, you turn on the news and that's mostly what's reported is uh, all of the violent, you know, sociopaths and psychopaths and antisocial personalities that um and you know hysterical personalities in women a lot of times borderline personalities as well so what they report is the end result where you know someone is killed or seriously injured and then it takes a different turn and then we just we we go through like the court proceedings and then the the sentencing of the narcissist and what they fail to talk about is how number 1 how how to spot these people and that's what our community is actually bringing out and exposing is how to how to try to spot these people early on so that you do not become one of these statistics that end up dead and on the news. And we're trying to point out all, you know, a lot of the different early kinds of warning signs. And obviously one of them is domestic violence. And, um, Yes, as victims and as targets, we do not come into this, you know, and in, into adulthood really vigilant, cautious, or with an understanding of what kinds of people we need to be wary of. We actually are more brainwashed to trust, you know, the romantic attraction, uh, uh, situation or to trust romance and love. And, um, that's one of these, that's one of the things that the narcs use to trap us to begin with. We're also taught to forgive and be compassionate and understanding with people. And, of course, that's extremely dangerous when we do become compassionate towards somebody who lacks all kind of empathy themselves, lacks reciprocity. And so that is a huge link that's missing in the reporting of these narcissists and the killings that they do. Another thing that's missing is kind of an overall statistic of how often it happens because when you're not given a global sense or the whole picture of what kind of was wrong with this person and, and these people are rarely previously diagnosed before they go out and do their killings um, especially if it's just of their spouse or of their kids and then they turn the guns on themselves they may or may not have been previously diagnosed but even if they are diagnosed with a mental illness it's rare that they're diagnosed with a personality disorder because we know people are not diagnosed with these things 
they're usually di diagnosed, misdiagnosed with something else because it's hard to pin down those narcissistic personality traits and disorders when you have one sitting in front of your office maybe just once or twice for an assessment and they're very manipulative so they confuse everybody um, who's doing the assessment and they're going to be misdiagnosed or not diagnosed at all the partner will be the one who's diagnosed the target the one who ends up being killed is going to be the one who seeks treatment and who's diagnosed as the crazy person so what our community can really do um i think is talk about the prevalence and try to bring some concrete evidence to the global or the bigger picture of actually how prevalent this stuff is because when you see certain separate inter incidents on the news I think as a normal person who hasn't experienced narcissistic abuse you just kind of think well that's not that's an odd situation that's a one-time thing this is a case-by-case -case basis I don't know anybody like that so that must be rare and the the media is just focusing on these rare instances where somebody shot up a movie theater or shot up a school or killed their wife or husband and it doesn't occur very often but I think it occurs a lot more than what we want to believe and then when we add you know all of the things that never do come to the attention of the police in terms of physical sexual and then emotional abuse which which never comes to the attention to of the police because the police can't do anything about that. So I think that our community can really um, help shed light on how prevalent this is, number one, and how um, people can avoid this and, it, and to stop blaming the victims for what they did you know where they went they were in the wrong place or blaming the victim because you know she or he was married to the abuser and if they had somehow gotten out sooner then they wouldn't be dead now that's not really the right way to you know solve this this isn't the right way to approach it is talking about how victims needed to get out sooner i mean that's you know, Monday morning quarterback kind of stuff. How about how all people are potential victims, first of all, whether you were ever abused in your childhood or not, you still are a potential victim and have a potential risk to being either in the wrong place or at the wrong time with a narcissist or have covert narcissists in your family that are been torturing you for years and there's no way to really bring attention to it because no one really seems to care and the public is not educated on this. So I think this is where our community can actually maybe get an inroad into things that um, people seem to care about. Pe you know, people seem to care about these shootings and that kind of violence. And if we could kind of work our way and get an inroad into identifying what the real problem is with these people who are violent, which is a personality disorder often, oftentimes, that it's prevalent, and then what are the ways that we can alert ourselves to these kind of people in order to try to prevent any kind of contact with them let alone developing a romantic relationship with them. All right, thanks for listening today. Have a good day.